Now, how well do you know your local history? I'm learning more, actually. Good. This very day I've learnt some more. <laughs> Perhaps not as well as you might think. Uh, but a local, a new film, rather, a collection of uh, film archives has just been put together that might jog your memory or teach you something new. Nine DVDs are planned for the series, and the first one, called Nottingham, Nottingham even, on film, has just been released by the Media Archive for Central England. Andy Bevan has been taking a look. Nottingham's old market square has been around since Norman times, but if you'd been here back in 1927, you might have seen a few changes. That was the year that the five-acre space which had hosted the largest open market in the country, as well as the annual goose fair, was partly pedestrianised. This film, from 1951, charts a day in the life of the square from sunup to sundown. At 7.45, the first chimes of the day are heard from the council house clock. At 7.45 too, the transport canteen arrives, and the bus crews, conscious of having set the wheels of the city turning, can relax and refresh themselves before going back to deal with the growing tide of passengers. And while the square was being paved, the new council house was being built, with its 200-foot high dome housing the clock and its 10.5-ton bell, Little John. In May 1929, the Prince of Wales, later to become King Edward VIII, opened the council house with a gold key, still on display today in the entrance hall. The DVD brings to light lots of areas of Nottingham that people who aren't from here might not be aware of. They go into the tourism centre and they can pick up a copy and go home and see on film how the city has changed over time. Opening on the first Thursday in October, the Goose Fair has been part of Nottingham's history for more than 700 years. But these images from 1927 show the very last time it pitched up in Old Market Square. Since then, it's been held on the outskirts of the city. The Media Archive for Central England has amassed dozens of hours of Goose Fair footage showing how times have changed, along with many of the rides and stalls, although some are still pulling in the crowds even today. On September the 25th, 1865, the brothers John and William Lambert opened their splendid Temple of the Drama, as it was called. And very like a temple it was, too, with its imposing colonnaded frontage. Sir, do you know what this theatre is celebrating this week? Uh, isn't it its 100 years? That's right, I yes. I believe it is, anyway. While the curtain has been rising at the Theatre Royal since 1865, the nearby Nottingham Playhouse will next year celebrate a mere half-century. This is opening night on December the 11th, 1963. Lord Snowden greeting, amongst others, resident author Peter Ustinov. In 1982, this, the Royal Concert Hall, was added to Nottingham's cultural attractions. But can you remember what used to be up there? Yes, a huge neon sculpture that spanned the front of the building, switched on by the venue's very first performer, who, unlike the electric artwork, is still standing. Yes, I've never played it before. I think I played in my early days Nottingham University, but that was really the only venue that was available for, for my sort of act. And I think now you'll get anybody coming here, which is fabulous. Nottingham on film is two and a half hours of historical double DVD delight. Mind you, for the film fanatic who put it all together, the toughest decision of all was what to leave on the cutting room floor. First of all, you start by picking out one or two gems and they start to grab your attention. So you gradually tease out a series of themes like uh, the river, urban development, sporting heroes, Cluffy's in there somewhere. I think it's the best, best ever. From 1920s lace manufacture to a 1930s river regatta, even bicycle makers helping the 1940s war effort. All Nottingham life is here. Are you watching, Diane? It may be gone now, but it's definitely not been forgotten. Leaving the square to the lions, the pigeons, and the great bright clock face. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight. Amazing pictures Brilliant. there. Those rides look scary, though. They do, and not overly safe. <laughs> uh, future DVD releases will feature Derbyshire, Shropshire, uh, Worcestershire, and Lincolnshire, among others, so we'll keep a lookout uh, for those for you, of course. Well, the National...